Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, you may have seen that I posted in the chat room that uh, yesterday I bought a straddle in Apple. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. It's um, in some ways straightforward, in some ways maybe not as straightforward. So one of the events that's coming up in Apple is the WWDC, that's the Worldwide Developers Conference, where they tend to announce new products and such. And this year, they're expected to announce uh, some augmented slash virtual reality uh, he a headset to compete with Microsoft, etc. So how big of a deal will that be? Now, I also heard, uh, and this is not as common of a rumor here, that maybe there could be some artificial intelligence, something or other being released. So, you know, that remains to be seen. Now, the question is that, the WWDC, how big of a deal is it? Well, if we go back to June 7th of 2021, two years ago, that was when they held the WDC. That is on this date right here. Um, on that date, not a lot happened. And presuming maybe the announcement was after the close, uh, here's the next day. I mean, you know, the stock had... Uh, the following day, a range of, what, a little $2.25. Okay. So last year's WWDC, that was June 6th, and we can pull that up here too. So we'll just go uh, 22 to 22. So June 6th of last year, uh, we had a pretty, well, on actual June 6th, there's a tight range, so we'll assume that they announced after the close or that's when the uh, trading with that new information took place. That had a fairly good range. You know, it's about a, uh, let's see here, from low to high, about a $4.90 range. Uh, stock actually fell quite a bit after that. And so how big of a deal is of uh, it? You know, is this event? I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit of a deal. I imagine if they announce some um, uh, AI product that they've been keeping under wraps for a long time that's better than everything else, that could make a huge deal. So, you know, it remains to be seen. Um, probably it'll be somewhat of a deal um, with the potential chance that it could be a, a big deal. Okay, so what was with Dan buying the straddle. So here, let's go back to today's chart. We've had just a massive run up it's from the beginning of the year. Really, there's a minor pullback here, but we had just a massive, massive run up. Uh, I believe if we go to the three year here, uh, no, not quite all time highs, but basically uh, we could call this a double top. I mean, I guess you'd technically call it a triple top. If we go out a little further, 10 years, yeah, that's that, that's it. So uh, on the three-year chart here, we're bouncing off resistance at this point. The question is, do we bust through it? Well, all the tech stocks have been getting a ride because of this AI thing. Um, and even if Apple's not a major player in it, they could still benefit from this new wave of technology taking place. Um, so the question really becomes in my mind, does it just continue on? And let's get it down to a six month chart again. Does it continue on and bust through the all time highs and have a great deal of follow through because of something with WWDC um, or with the market catching some wind in its sails on some confidence of of, you know, that the debt ceiling deal went through, or will the market end up pulling back because that party's over and all the new jobs that got added, uh, the fear that the Fed might um, might actually hike rates next time starts creeping into play again. So there's a great deal of uncertainty. WWDC is part of it, but it's not all of it. And I just think that Apple, having been so strong, basically trading with a high beta, outperforming the S&P 500. If the S&P 500 keeps going, I think Apple can keep going, uh, especially with all the strength in tech. And if the market pulls back, I think the bigger they are, the harder they can fall. So I hope that helps, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.